folks at home, welcome to Tank Tuesday. We've got a couple of exciting things to announce in this video, but if you're new to the channel, this is our 300 gallon aquarium. We got a big bluegill named Sheriff and two pet bass named Bonnie and Clyde. We also have some crawfish, and that's Larry the Lobster in here. But we are introducing a new pet in this video, and we're also, as promised, and I know I've said this in the past, we're gonna try to add that Bama Bass lettering, except this time, I do have a good plan to put that in there, so. So let's go check in on Moby. All right, this is a look at our 55 gallon aquarium, our pet bass Moby right here, and we also have some catfish, that is Casper, and the channel cat right there is Whiskers. They'll come out a little bit later on. And as you all saw in the last video, unfortunately our other twin pet bass, McCoy, passed away, so we decided to get a new pet for this 55 gallon aquarium. All right, folks, you guys have been asking for a long time about these Bama Bass letters. I can't make them sink. That's what we've been waiting to do. We've had them in a bucket of water trying to waterlog them, and they're still floating. So it is time to take matters into my own hands and speed up this process. I got the crawfish cooker out. We're going to fill it up with water and boil them until they sink. Got a little science project coming up. Let's see if heating up these wooden letters will make them sink. It is feeding time. Time to drop Moby a minnow in. water to a bowl. We're going to go ahead and drop the Bama Bass lettering in and hopefully it's going to be a two-part test. For one, I want to make sure that we bring these to a bowl and the letters, the wood should expand which should let that water come in and hopefully waterlog them. And two, if there's any tannins left in there, the kind of dark looking brown color that comes out of the wood, this will go ahead and boil it out. But if you guys have been following the channel, we have had these things soaking for about the past six months. So tannins shouldn't be an issue, but we want to waterlog them so we can get them in the tank. We want to waterlog these letters about like the old tracker is waterlogged. It's been a little while since I've got her out. While I'm here waiting on these letters, I'm gonna get all the water out of the boat. If any of you all own a boat and you ever have your cover get waterlogged or water staying on top of it, this is worth an investment. I got it at Bass Pro Shops. There's a little marble in the end of it. And all you do is you take it, put it in the water, and what it's doing is it's creating a little funnel and you see the water coming out the bottom there. So I've already got it pressurized now, so I can just leave it here hanging off the side of the boat and the water will continue shooting out. All right, one last thing I'm going to talk about while I'm sitting here waiting for this to come to a bowl. If any of you are interested in crawfish bowls, leave a comment down below because I cook crawfish about six times a year and we have a killer recipe that would even make the Cajuns proud. So if you would like to see a crawfish bowl, how we do it here at the Bama Bass household, leave a comment below and I'll show you all of our secret ingredients. All right, everyone, it is time to unveil our new pet in three, two, one, a blue crawfish. He may look a little black because of the lighting, but he is crystal blue. Guys, you know it. As always, we're going to need a name for this. And what I think we're going to do is put him down in our blue aquarium down here for a couple reasons. For one, I don't want Moby trying to eat him right away. And for two, he can grab those minnows as he gets hungry and he can eat. And every now and again, minnows die in here, so he'll also be on the cleanup crew. But what we're going to try to do is keep him down in the minnow tank, fatten him up, and then make him a new tank mate with Moby. So leave your comments below on what you think we ought to name our new blue crawfish. All right, Liz is going to drop him in the minnow tank. And he's a little guy. We're going to keep an eye on him for a little bit and see if he attacks the minnows or see how he likes his new home. We have we have one dead minnow on the back over there, so he should have plenty to eat. I just swapped the light over so you could see how blue he really is. That's a really nice blue looking color there. Well, we got it bubbling now. 
Time for an update. The boat is no longer waterlogged, but the letters still are. We've been going about 45 minutes here. All right, guys, time to take a look at the world's most spoiled crawfish. Anytime he gets hungry, he just reaches a pincher out, grabs one. He has more bait in there than he could ever eat. We're going to fatten him up. That way we can put him in the tank with Moby. We're going to get him some structure in there to hide out under. Leave a comment below on what you think we should put in there for him to hide. We're only going to put one piece of rock, wood, something like that. But I feel like he needs a little hiding spot. Alright, now it's time to get back to some tank activity. And we're going to feed Moby. And in honor of McCoy, we're going to drop one extra minnow in. And we all know that Moby's going to eat it. So let's drop one in for him. Got it. Let him... Let it settle for just a second. And this one's for McCoy. Got it. He ate too quick. Alright, time for another update. We have been bulling for three hours now. Let's see. If we can tell. Oh, I've got to blow some of the steam away. And the letters are still floating. I'm beginning to wonder if my subscribers lied to me. We're just going to keep bulling until I run out of gas or they sink one or the other. All right, folks, it is 7.20. I've had them on for a little over three hours. Moment of truth. Are they floating or sinking? Who is still a little warm. Grab this, take the lid off. Ooh, can't quite tell. Looks like we may have some sinkers. No, the S is floating. I'm gonna put them in a bucket just to make sure, but I think they're still floating. Yep, after further review, they are not sinking. So, if anybody out there knows how to make wooden letters sink, let me know. We boiled them for three and a half hours, and they're still not sinking. And I feel kind of bad because I actually had these sinking at one point. We had them in a bucket for three months, and they were sinking. But I didn't put them right in the tank, and we let the bucket dry out. So, guys, hit me up with some details down below on how I can put these letters in the tank. All right, we got Larry the Lobster out. He's ready for feeding, so are these other guys. All right, let's feed Larry some shrimp pellets. I know he'll eat those. Eat up, buddy. Sheriff will come and eat them all. You better hurry. Guys, you gotta love when a plan comes together. Little crawfish has only been in the tank five minutes and he's already went and got that minnow and started eating on it. Sorry guys, we could not get the Bama Bass letters in here, but now we're gonna roll some feeding clips. And as we watch these feeding clips, we're gonna answer some of your questions from last Tank Tuesday and then show you some of our subscriber tanks. The first question comes from Shelby and he says, how often do you clean your filters and do you take them out and wash them or no? So we use pinky filters to filter out the water before it gets into our sump tank down below. And if they're really dirty, we'll just replace them. And if they're not that bad, then we'll just clean them. Next question comes from Volunteer Insider. RIP McCoy, and by the way, congrats on Bama winning the national championship, but go Vols. Well, I appreciate that. Liz and I both graduated from University of Alabama, so I will say Roll Tide, but Georgia played a heck of a game, so my hat's off to them too. Next question from Peyton Smith. He says, I know you got it from B&B Pet Store. That's the pet. So Peyton must have seen me getting this pet crawfish from the pet store here in Mobile. So, and so I just wanted to take a second and say, if you ever see me out in public, stop by and say hello. Shake my hand. I promise we won't bite. Next question comes from Giovanni Castillo. Leave a like if you think Bama Bass should build a pond in his backyard when the bass get too big for the 300 gallon. Well, Giovanni, that is our exit plan. Liz and I have always wanted to build our own lake and raise our own pet bass and Bonnie and Clyde may be the first two bass put in that lake. All right, last question comes from Caden Selly. I didn't get this video notification. I only just found out now while randomly scrolling through YouTube. Well, we've been getting a lot of people say they're not getting our notifications. So I'm gonna show you a quick picture here. If you look at the little bell down in the bottom right hand corner, if you go to our channel and you click that bell, you always get notified when we put a new video out. All right, now I'm going to roll some clips that our subscribers sent in to us of their fish tanks. And the first one comes from P.A. Bassing, and he has a YouTube channel named The Bass Tank. Quick video of his fish tank and his pet bass, and that is one good-looking tank, P.A. 
All right, and the next video clip comes from Jacob Dowler. This is a video of his small bass eating minnows. Reminds me of Moby. He eats them up quick. All right, and this clip comes from Aaron McCaleb. He has a YouTube channel called Day 5 Aquatics. And he said this is a video of his native tank. He's got seven long ears, one green sunfish, a yellow belly slider turtle, and some plecos for cleanup. That is one really good looking tank, Aaron. I appreciate you sending us this clip. And that turtle looks pretty cool. So thanks guys for sending in those clips. If you have a video of your fish tank or your pet bass or bluegill or any type of pet, send it in. You can email it to us. We'll put the link in the description and we may add your video clip to the end of one of our Tank Tuesday videos. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that button. That way you can join us every Tuesday when we put out these videos of our tanks. Hope you all enjoyed it and we'll see you all next week. Children.